Hello, YouTube. A quick upload, which it may not be that quick, but I wanted to do it because this is the book, Captain Marvel Adventures from July number 37, that I gave away for my 1500 subscriber giveaway. And this book, Chop and Drop, won the actual contest so he has a great channel and he's a great guy he's always supportive of channels in the community and I said to my friend Mike Night Tiger that if I gave this book away which I did I wasn't going to clean it I just was going to send it off and Mike said that's not like Jerry the Jitterbug you have to at least give it a nice cleaning. And I said, you know what, Mike, you're right. And I thought the same thing, especially for Chop. So what I want to do is a quick upload. And I want to show you how I do a quick cleaning. So this book is in pretty decent condition. It does have some issues with water damage in the back. As you can see, the ink from the actual cover did bleed through and it did discolor the white. But that's okay because this, in my opinion, is a great book for anyone to have, especially if you don't have any Golden Age books. And we're going to try to make this book look a lot better than it is. So what am I going to do? What I'm going to do now is I'm going to set everything up. I'm going to get my materials and we're going to do one upload from beginning to the end, cleaning and pressing this book. And you'll see how I do it for a quick press and clean. So stay tuned. Okay, guys, we are back. And the first thing that I want to do, or I usually do, is I like to support the cover before I start cleaning. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a piece of cardstock paper. This is not a backboard, but rather it is a cardstock piece of paper. And this is something that is a little thicker than regular paper, but it's rigid enough to give the cover some support. The next thing we are going to use is our makeup rounds, standard cotton makeup rounds that I steal from my family, my wife and daughter. And what I like to do is just gently wipe the cover with motion from inside of the page going outwards. And the reason why I do this is because if you go in, you run the risk of actually damaging the cover by skipping it in and ripping it so you want to try to prevent that at all costs so here we go we push it out push it out towards the perimeter and believe it or not it's not that dirty and there is not much coming off of the cover but we'll use a second round makeup pad just to go over the book and to try to remove any loose dirt that may be on the cover. So again, not that bad. It's actually pretty clean, which is surprising, but we're doing our best with a quick clean for chop because we want him to have the best book that we can give within reason. So I use the makeup round 
and right here I have absorine. So what I'll do is I rolled it like a cigar. This was actually in my container, which you can see it's big like Play-Doh chunks. And I'll give it a nice rolling with the absorine and we'll try to pick up some dirt in relation to the cover. Now, I roll, sometimes I actually rub it against the cover like this. If I had to make a choice between rolling, I actually like between rolling and rubbing, I like rubbing better. You see, because it does pick up more dirt. I know also that it is picking up ink, but that's okay. Whenever you do a process like this, you are going to pick up some ink and ink will come up. That is the nature of the beast. So I will do this and I will try to go in a pattern back and forth. So I do pick up everything in a systematic way and I don't miss actual pieces. And as you can see right there, that is pretty scuzzy. Whether it's dirt or not, whether it's dirt combination with ink, it's okay because it is cleaning the cover to the degree that I think you're making a better presenting book. As you can see, there is lift that is coming up. And I would guess, if I had to guess or predict, that is dirt more than ink so we do that and we make sure that we get all aspects or all portions of the cover going back and forth now for people who are fans of my channel and they've watched my uploads you'll remember that there's times that i do use a backboard to go back and forth to make sure that I cover each portion of the cover with the absorine or the eraser. But sometimes I don't do that, I change it up. And sometimes you have to change things up a little bit so you don't get bored in the same process. But there's no right or wrong, it's just, doing what works for you. So right there, I use the absorbing and I, I'm happy so far with the results. The next thing I like to do is I like to chain, get my cheese grater and I have my white eraser. And then what I'll do is I'll grate some of the eraser in a pile in the middle of the cover. And this, as I've done in the past, is a method that I learned from a document conservationist in dealing with ancient documents. I believe it was dealing with old manuscripts and they were very dirty. And this is how the woman cleaned the manuscripts with a racer and a cheese grinder. And what she did was she made a little pile of the actual eraser, and then she used her fingers and rubbed it along the manuscript. So I'm gonna do the same. If it works for ancient documents, why wouldn't it work for comics? And again, people may be saying, well, Jerry, you're taking up the ink, it may be so, but it works for me. So what I'll do is I'll just take the, the graded eraser and I'll slowly go in a circular fashion 
back and forth and I'll go over the whole cover just to give it a nice erasing, a nice cleaning with the particles of the eraser and we'll do the whole thing for the whole cover and we'll see where it leads us. And then what I like to do is I like to make a little pile again and then we go back and forth. And does it work for me? It does. It's not a precise cleaning method, but it does give it a nice once over. Just one of the steps, and sometimes I'll go to the makeup pads and I'll use the makeup pads, and then we'll go in a circular fashion with the eraser and we'll do the whole cover, but just be careful when you get to the perimeters because you do not want to, as I said before, make it where you rip it. So then I'll just brush the actual eraser carvings off or filings off, and then we'll go back to our absorbing and now we'll give it a nice roll. Now you have to understand, guys, this is just a quick cleaning and pressing. I could spend, in all reality, if I wanted to, many hours on this book. But that is not the contract. That is not what I agree to do. And although Chop is a great guy... We have limitations and a quick clean and a press is sufficient because this book will definitely look a lot better by the time I'm done with it. So that is the quick cleaning of the cover with what I used, meaning the absorbing, the makeup pads, and the actual eraser carvings or shavings now what i want to do is i want to get rid of this so i'll brush it off and i and i always use a plastic container where i can just put all the garbage now what i want to do is i want to focus on the whites and that is very important and what I do to focus on the whites is I pick this trick up from Kenny Sanderson on Instagram. He is one of the top conservationists and comic restorers in the country. We're friends now, and I like to look at his posts to learn things. And what he does is he cuts the actual eraser tip with a razor blade to give it a nice sharp point on an angle which I do now as well because this will allow you to get into the white areas a little bit more precisely than if it was a rounded edge. So then what I'll do is I will concentrate on the whites with the pointed or the angled eraser and we'll just go in one direction and make sure that you hold the actual comic down flat so you don't wind up bending it or ripping it with the motion of the eraser and believe me guys there's times that i have done that in the past so you go over and then you wipe it or you brush it. And one thing about the Golden Age books, in my opinion, are that they are extremely strong. They are very, very, very different than modern books. The paper... The stock that they used back then, in my opinion, was of a lot better quality than obviously 
what they use today. I'm sure there's someone out there that may disagree with what I'm saying. I'm not a paper expert with the manufacturing of paper, but one thing I do know is I can just feel the difference between modern books today and books from the golden age. It's comparing a 40s Cadillac to a 2022 Cadillac. You tell me which is made stronger. I know because I also restore cars and by no way is it a comparison because the older it is, in my opinion, the better it is today. Things are made to be disposable. So I may be talking a lot doing this. That's one of the reasons why I tend to like to do time lapse when I do these types of things because just me babbling about cars and how things are made tend to be maybe a little boring to people, but you have to talk when you do these videos because what am I going to do? Be quiet and be a fool. You know, that guy who commented about me talking too much, you know, he is 75 sub subscribers, so he must be really doing something right. So please, if you think I talk too much, change the channel. So right there is the basic gist of what I do to quickly dry clean a book. And I'm going to work on this more. That was just something very quick to show you guys. But to speed things along, I am going to continue the cleaning of this book in time lapse. So stay tuned and enjoy. Thank mm -hmm. you.